All right, where do we want to go? We could get mystery consumable, unique unit, or unique equipment. Mystery consumable, unique consumable, or unique equipment. I like the idea of unique units, kind of. This gives XP, this gives star points. I think I'm going to go for the unique consumable because like our our things kind of set in stone, right? So here's the unique consume. Oh no, that's not the unique consumable. What is? Oh, right. We have one of those. We need to consider using this on someone like right now. Okay, so this is the thing I was talking about that I got before. It's a sword but you could spend five gold to upgrade it, and then you can spend five gold to upgrade it again. This is the thing that you spend five gold on. And each time it gets better. It it doesn't just get more attack damage, it gets like special effects on it. So this is pretty good. We already have one of these Mind Blight potions. And we already have a Rallying Horn, so I think I'm just going to go with this. All right, who can we fight? Get a Berserker Potion or an Incapacitation Potion? I think the Berserker Potion is going to be better, right? Okay, all Tier 2. So we have a Buckler. And this improperly assembled Pitchfork. Let's go ahead and do our reroll first. What do we got? Got another one of these guys, huh? Like we reroll again. Another Monty and another Crosby. Is this is these the only units we get? Come on. All right, so we need to put this stuff on people. What happens? Oh, don't do that. Just randomly. Reduce all incoming damage. So the problem of putting this on this guy, though, is this guy is not that strong. He's only a tier 1 bear. He'd obviously be harder to kill. I think I put the pitchfork on Monty. And then I don't know if I should upgrade it quite yet. Drop this on a friendly non-legendary unit to summon three units that share traits with it. Oh, also we want to use this shrine buff. What do we want? We want reptiles, huh? Reptile... Reptiles and tanks, I think, help us the most. Because then we could get more codas. Let's do that. What did I get? Oh, okay. He upgraded a level four, and we got one of you. That was probably worth it, right? Having a tier four unit. Unfortunately, we only got reptiles out of that. So do I just take you and put you over here? Oh, like this. Could upgrade the pitchfork. I think we might wait till we see the shop to do that. So then the question is, do I put this here or do I just give this to this guy? I think we just give this to this guy, because we could sell him whenever to combine that. Alright, let's go. Ooh, they got like the dragon buff. Luckily our tanks weren't really lined up with uh, the back line, so the dragon didn't go over our back line. Go ahead, do this story stuff first. 
We can get... What is this? Whenever you purchase a cursed unit in the store, gain a fire potion. Or we could just gain fire potions. So we could gain an extra potion slot and three potions. I think we want this, right? This disenchant shrine. It's going to be really good for our tanks. But just useful for everyone else. Okay, here's the shop. Um, we also get two more units. Oh, I guess we get four units. Because it upgrades these slots to be uncommon. And these slots to be rare. Ooh, there's a reptile. We'll have to look at him in just a second. What's the store got for us? Lifeline might not be a bad choice right now. This can combine with the shield to give spell power every three seconds adjacent foes. Take spell damage equal to 8% of their max HP. Have their healing for three seconds. That's pretty good, huh? Ghoul War Banner, not really what we're looking for. Pyromaniacs Kit. I don't know what this is made. It's made out of these two things. We don't have any meat. Gives 10 armor, 20 health. When first reaching 50% health, gain a 25% max HP shield for 5 seconds and deal 25% maximum HP as spell damage to adjacent foes. That's pretty good, but that's all of our gold if we take that. Pretty much the question is, do I buy an item or do I upgrade the pitchfork twice and buy like the lifeline? I think I buy the lifeline. Because what I'm afraid of is if we lose to a boss, then our run just ends. <laughs> but I think the lifeline, I assume you have to fight the boss again, maybe? I don't know how that works. Because the only time I lost to a boss, I just died. Because he took four hearts. I'm gonna buy the lifeline. And then I think we upgrade the pitchfork twice. So let's see what the pitchfork upgraded into. After casting their spell, the wear, wear attacks. The wearer's attacks deal 30 bonus damage for five seconds. Pay five gold to upgrade again. Do that. So now, uh, they deal the 30 bonus spell damage and grant two bonus mana for five seconds. Okay, so he's just gonna like cast rapidly, right? That's that's his whole thing. He attacks, he gets lots of mana on attack, does lots of damage, and now his spells deal more, or his attacks deal more damage after he's cast once. So we just want him to cast once and then he kind of goes crazy. And that takes all of our money. What do we want here? Meat? Meat could be good, huh? Oh, but it just makes this. What could we get out of this? Well, the wearer casts, they and the lowest percent health ally heal for two times the mana spent. That's pretty good. Okay, I kind of want this. Alright, so now we can finally figure out if we can get Prince Harming into our team. I think that this Willow guy is just better than this Mushroom dude. So I'm just going to sell the Mushroom dude. Giving up on him. Prince Harming. How do you work? You're a brawler. We don't have another brawler, that's a shame. Prince Harmon conjures a crown to crash into its target, reducing their tier by one. The foe is already tier one instead. This seems pretty good, huh? You're one range. Pretty strong, because you're like a rank three unit. Okay, let's reroll. Another Prince Harming and another Elder. Do I give up on trying to get the skeletons? 
I think this is kind of a lost cause. Because, like, I don't really want this guy in my team. But give me another Prince Harming. I think we get rid of the extra ones. What we want is to get both of these two reptiles in, or Prince Harming. I guess we should probably pick which one of these two is better. This guy's kind of like a tank, but not really. I don't really know which one's better. So this guy would add more damage. We kind of already have a damage, dude. Either way, like, we're probably not going to go into Shaman or Duelist at this point. There's a chance we could maybe go for another Brawler to get this. What do these two do? Charges up the Shaman Totem. Okay, and Duelist... When they get hit, they parry. Okay. Well, I don't see us powering up anymore right now. Let's see how good Monty is right now. He should be really good, right? He should be like crazy good. Yeah, after he casts once, he just like is out of control. Okay, I remember seeing one of these. So, you pretty much roll a d20. You get this. And depending on what number you get, you get curse. So, unless you roll a 20, it's going to get you some curse. I don't think... I mean, actually, 2 XP is probably worth it because it'll level us up. Let's do it. We've got a 14... Gives us one curse. That's probably the best that we could ask for. Now there might be something for going further. What is this? Your units have 5% max. Less max health. That's really bad for us. But we get a staff here. I'm just going to take it and run. At some point I'll probably want to do that. Because I don't know if maybe there's like a special item that you get for going through all that. But. Okay, this is important. Skeleton. We can make one of our units a skeleton. Which would then make this guy relevant. Or we could make someone a poisoner, which means we no longer need Willow. Which I think is probably better, right? Let's let's look here. Willow is actually doing some work, huh? I'm surprised Willow is our second highest damage dealer. Crosby kind of sucks. <laughs> but he's got no he's got no traits. He's just sitting there like a just a normal skeleton. Oh, this also gives something else. What does this give? It gives a willow. Oh, wait, hold up. Poisoner's attacks also apply venom. Oh, I was reading this wrong. This doesn't give, um... This is the only thing... This just gives you a free skeleton. Like, it, you don't put it on anyone. It's, these aren't war banners. Okay, I was a little confused. So this just says that you have a, a more one more skeleton on the field than you do. Which is probably worse than a war banner. I probably would have preferred a war banner to make someone else a skeleton. Because skeletons come back to life. Uh, once everyone on your side of the field is dead. Gain a tier 2 Maurice, Teak, and Bark. We definitely don't want that. They are tier 2 though. This buffs Poisoners, which is almost certainly what we have to go for then. Poisoners attacks also apply Venom. 
A foe with 10 stacks of Venom loses all stacks and is stunned for 2 seconds. Gain a Willow. I'm going to pick this. Okay, so now we have an extra Willow. And we're going to go fight this boss. This guy's a frontline unit, right? Alright, this is going to get interesting. So we have these things. Passive every second Frozen Effigy steals 4 mana from all of your units. Active... Um, he deals spell damage to adjacent foes and stuns them for one second. So it's only going to stun our melee units. First of all, get you on that shrine over there. This guy deals ice breath. Enemies in a wide line, stunning for three seconds. How much armor do you have? You have 20 armor. I think I fire potion you. I still need to get this berserker, or this willow out of here. What do we have in here? Oh, I probably want to use the lifeline because this is a boss. You can see now we have a pale heart as well. Pale hearts are lost before normal hearts and cannot be regained. Sorry, what did nope, you say? No, Alexa, stop. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know why she thought I was talking to her. Anyways, I'm trying to think. Oh, hold, let's let's not just equip stuff willy nilly. This is good. Who's gonna cast more? Bear is gonna cast more. Let's do our reroll. I'm having trouble figuring out that lore. And Wolfgang. None of these really help us, though. Give me one more reroll. There's a bear. But it's not two bears, it's only one bear. I feel like we give up on this guy. So I need room, right, to put the willow. question is, is this strong enough to win? We might want to use the Berserker Potion. So is debilitating Venom different from also apply Venom? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, they seem to be the same keyword. So I think we just give this to you, right? If you could cast once, that's probably good enough. We can't die, I don't think. I think the boss only does four damage. So I think we just try it. This is actually going really well. Probably didn't even need that fire potion. Yeah, this Monty is just crazy. It takes them too long to get through our tanks and the Monty just kills everybody. Alright, so now we should get an extra unit slot though. Which should make this a lot easier. Oh, our first run has taken a while. Hopefully in the future we can just do runs a little bit faster than this. I was just trying to explain everything for the first time. Okay, the Grand Tournament. As you reach the entrance to the Grand Tournament, a possible, a possibly familiar goblin explains the rules. There is no violence on the tournament grounds. No littering, gambling is only... I've never made it this far. 
So we might as well see if Act 3 says anything. Registration begins at noon. Oh, what the heck? Oh, no. Okay, so we were supposed to choose between those two things, but because we have Displeased Sky... Um... One of Sky's units will be equipped with advanced power. Due to your actions, Sky has built a new power suit and equipped it to a unit. Oh. So whoever we fight next just has something? Um. Unique perk. Mystery unit. I feel like this is a trick, right? Like, this one looks tempting because it's got so many different things, but I think we should go with this one. I'm hoping that the unique perk... Maybe it'll just give us a choice between three unique perks. I'm sure one of them has to be pretty good, right? Units with an empty equipment slot gain... Oh, that's not that good. Units with two or greater attack range gain 25 attack speed and starting mana. That's pretty good. Melee units are immune to crowd control and gain 10% lifesteal. I think it's got to be archery training, right? This guy's got more. This guy's got more. It's only two of our units, but like it's our high damage unit. Plus he'll get starting mana. So he'll be able to... Because we want him to just do his first cast, right? If he starts with 25 mana, he's doing his first cast pretty fast. Plus he gets mana on attack, so attack speed is technically like mana too. That seems pretty good. Alright, what do we got here? Do we need more XP or more star points? We have lots of star points. I would like to get to 14 gold. Oh, we're just fighting a lot in a row though. So I think we go for the XP. This guy's a frontline unit, right? Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, they have lots of items. So. I don't know how this works. Does it get rid of my Pale Heart? If I do this? It's not very clear. So I think we want the Prince, but if we get the Shaman, he's got four range, so he would get this buff. It's really, I want to try and get four reptile right here. But maybe it's not even that necessary. Like, two reptile is pretty good already. Let's get, like, this guy in there as well. Okay, I'm going to do this and hope it doesn't take my pale heart. you got to click it multiple times. It does take the pale heart. It's unfortunate. Okay, reroll. Nothing. Reroll. Prince harming. Surely we just do this, right? Okay. Level two prince harming. I gotta reroll one more time. What we got? Willow. Yeah, we do that. Tier 2 Willow. We just got a lot stronger. Um, we swap you to... I take the skeleton out. I feel like this guy needs to be at least tier 2 before I do that. But then I'll have reptile 4. Actually, how much damage is the skeleton doing? Skeleton's doing the least damage on the team. 
Okay, now we have Reptile 4. So now, <laughs> this guy gains so much mana right now, by the way. He's got 9 mana regen. He gets 3 mana on hit from that. 4 mana on hit from that. 2 bonus mana after he's cast. This guy's going to be casting like every single attack. How much do you sell for? 6. That is the same amount that I spent on you, I think. I'll keep him around just in case I made the wrong decision, but I think it's the right decision. Oh wow, they are just melting. Oh, and then the frog lowered his tier. It's so good. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Alright, what do we got? We can get a glove or we can get a sword. What other items do we have? Buckler. Ooh, that gives life steal. Is that good for you? I don't even know if that's that good for you. What do I hear? What is this? The wearer is immune to crowd control every five times they are hit. Parry the next incoming attack, ignoring it. I don't know which one's better. One XP, though, gives us a level up. I kind of want that. Okay. Ooh, what is that? I've never seen this before. 60 attack speed every three times the wearer attacks they gain eight attack speed wow that's pretty crazy yeah let's reroll what do we got we don't really i don't want to spend a heart on that definitely i think we reroll again that guy buy the prince harming So who's gonna sit here? Could be you. It's probably better for the Prince Harming though. Also, it's almost impossible for us to get any more Shellies. There's only one slot that can roll a Shelly. Okay, I think this should be okay. Yeah, we're very strong. Your units gain twice the bonus stats from overtime. Overtime starts 15 seconds sooner. Okay, we haven't actually run into overtime, but I did once in the demo. Overtime, like, progressively, everyone's stats increase. Like, all of their stats. I think, like, attack... Well, except for health. I don't think health increases. But I think, like, attack and attack speed just keep going up and up and up. Um, We haven't seen it, but the making it start sooner is interesting. In two random tier 4 common units. Your common units gain 15% maximum health. We gotta go with this one, right? Because where do we see what rarity they are? You're not common, right? I don't think you are. But I don't see where you see that. But so Monty, I'm pretty sure, is common. Yeah, I'm not finding where you see it. But Monty's common and this guy's common. 
Everyone else, I think, is upgraded. But those two are our strongest units with full items. So just giving them 15% extra stats seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and take that. What do we got here? I could get a consumable or a perk. Unique equipment or a perk. Go with this. What is this? Drop on an enemy unit to create a war banner of one of that unit's traits. Must oh, so this we can only get if we have that shrine blessing. Ten percent max health and attack damage. That's interesting. Getting minus curse. I really don't think we're that upset about our curse at the moment. I think we get this. Just makes whoever's on the hex even better. Alright, who are we fighting? Can we see what tier this guy is? No. So, XP, we're not even close. I'm thinking this because there's a lot more star points. Okay, two tier three units. They have full tree folk. It's a little scary. They also have this. With the train dummy. Give me my reroll. Skeleton tank. I mean, something like that might be better than this. Because then we have two tank. Ah, oh, weird. It doesn't say on here. But this does tell me that maybe there are more than one hex modifier, but we only have one, so maybe that wasn't the greatest buff ever. But it should be fine. Go ahead, put you there. Oh, plus focal point stats. So I kind of want this guy, huh? Problem is, Skeleton does not really synergize with anything else we have going. But I feel like it's gotta be better than this guy. This guy's just not really coming through. Give me that. Wait, what? Oh. Shield Master. gonna go ahead sell that sell that we'll reroll once this is not really what we're looking for let's reroll again this is nothing we're looking for huh nope Okay, well, I mean, I am going to buy this just temporarily because we could get that, that guy to tier four. Um, let's go ahead and put this on you, probably. And then should I do that? Armor and lifesteal should make him a lot harder to kill. How does your ability work? It's probably mostly based off of spell damage. Let's do that. All right, let's let's run this one. Okay, everything's looking pretty good at the moment. 
Our tank is definitely taking some damage, but he lived the whole time. So we gotta check how good that skeleton dude did, but... Another buckler is probably the play, right? Just keep getting that bonus on as many people as possible. How good did this skeleton do? He did better than Prince Harming. Alright. Well, give me a reroll. What do we got? Nothing. Reroll Prince Harming. Not quite enough. We need one more of those. We need one more reroll. Willow. I guess it's time to ditch the skeletons. Give me the willow. Give me another reroll. Here's the Prince Harming upgrade. There we go. Tier 3 Prince Harming. Ooh, a Shelly. Need one more Shelly. But that's not going to be very likely. Okay, we need one more Elder, one more Shelly. I think we would just put the Prince Harming here. Seeing now that this is taking a lot longer than I thought, maybe I'll split it up into two. Well okay, what's going on here? River, Gera, Sky, Auto, Lethus, Syngrim. I think that's us, right? Syngrim. Knob. And Kiodini. Okay, so now we get any loss will cause the run to end in defeat, regardless of your remaining hearts. Combats will yield no rewards. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Help from a friend. The wearer becomes a poisoner in addition to its other traits. So they're giving us a poisoner war banner. Okay, we can also get a tank war banner, which I think I'm likely going to get. The Thunder Dirk is also pretty good. What's in here? Remove two curse. So I can't get both of these, unfortunately. Let's think about who would get what. What did I just get? I got a Poisoner War Banner. And I have a Buckler. We really only need Poisoner 2. Yeah, I don't really want Poisoner 4. Which means we would no longer need Willow. So I think we should reroll now. Okay, yeah, that guy got upgraded. But I didn't really... I don't have enough star points to really keep getting much stronger here. So I guess we could make someone else a poisoner. Which is probably what I'm going to do. I also want to make someone else a tank. Problem is, is I can't get to four tanks. I'm going to reroll one more time. Tempted because technically we don't need Willow, right? Because I could just put Poisoner on someone else, but I think Willow is pretty good, right? Like if I made... Prince Harming into a Poisoner. 
and a tank. Would he be good, or should I give him a Thunder Dirk instead? This tank makes him take 10 less damage. I think the Thunder Dirk would be better, right? Because then he has attack speed so he can apply his stuff faster. Buy the Thunder Dirk. Let's leave the shop. Okay, he's got two tier four units. This guy, when he dies, not only does he heal 1% max HP each second, on death he summons a 600 health chicken that taunts all foes. That's interesting. It seems like it's going to be a little tough. Let's make you into a poisoner. Then let's give you the thunder dirk. And then let's give you the buckler as well. So now you have the shield master. All of these guys have Shield Master, I think. Do you have Shield Master? You actually don't have Shield Master, but that's fine. Plop you here for the Focal Point. I'm thinking that, like, he's been on the Focal Point every single time, and he hasn't done anything. I might switch someone else to the Focal Point. But I... We'll see after this. We just gave him a bunch of items, right? If he's gonna become useful, now is the time for him to become useful. Swap you like that. Maybe you go like that. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's not even close. Although they probably have skeleton. Do they have skeleton? Yes. But uh, even with skeleton, it's not even close. Alright, let's look up how it went. Did Frog Prince do anything? He did alright. We really should have given his items to someone else. <laughs> oh no. But we can remove those items from him. Start with the roll. Get another one of these guys. I mean, everything ends in death, right? So, just... I don't have enough star points. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Um, that's awkward. I don't really want to sell the Willow. Having a second Sargon doesn't really help us, right? Because he's only, we still need another one. So, but it does seem like Sargon is doing the second most damage on the team, even though he's just a guy. So he's going to go there. And then can we take Poisoner and the Thunder Dagger, put that on Sargon. Let's do that. Sorry, Prince Harming. I guess you kind of suck. I didn't realize. So we'll give you the Thunder Dagger. Oh, we could also... Hold up. We could do that to you. Which might just be safer. Or to Willow. The problem is, is, like, Sargon... 
Sargon's doing all this damage, even though he's a tier 1 unit. I don't know how he's doing that. Which leads me to believe that he's pretty freaking good. So, you're taking over. You keep that, so you're harder to kill. And we still have one more item to flip around all of our items, if we need to. Um, potions. Potions, potions. So let's kind of look at what they're rocking. That guy is strong. Oh, he doesn't have horror too. Okay, okay. I was like, that seems really bad. <laughs> no, I think this will work. This is this situation is not good, but as long as this guy can't kill Monty, then we're okay. All right, I think it's going pretty cleanly. Didn't it didn't even look very bad at all. Okay, so that's the finals, and we're against Sky. Is Sky the guy who hates us? Yeah, Sky is the guy who hates us. Okay. What do we got here? Um, Sargon didn't really improve that much, but it's probably fine. Okay, so Sky supposedly has like a mech suit or something, because he was displeased at us. Uh, he's got a turret over here. What is this? Power suit. I don't know what it does, though. Yeah, I don't know what the power suit does. Okay, let's reroll really quick. Is there anything that will help us? Another willow. It's not enough, though. Because we don't make any money and this is the final match. So I feel like obviously just give that to Monty. Let him go wild. Who's going to sit on this? Sargon? Uh, I think I want to flip the map. I want them all to be taunted over that away. Then who gets the midnight or mind blight potion? This guy is tier four, but he doesn't actually do anything. This guy's got the power suit on. I'm a little bit scared of what that means. So I think I'm going to mind blight you. All right, let's do it. Oh, this turret has all kinds of shots. I don't know what refreshes its shots, but it has a lot of ammo. I think it's every time an engineer casts or something. This wasn't even close. You're getting better at this. Well fought. Win a run with Reptile 2 active is the achievement I got. Yeah, I mean, Monty... Wait, what? Sargon? Even though we invested so much in Sargon? <sighs> Sargon tricked me. He did really good that one match. But apparently he was just bad. Uh, Prince Harming also... Just didn't do that. Like, who should I have given the items to? Uh, this Elder, probably. The Elder, we neglected him, even though he was doing pretty well. Well, let's see where that gets us. Mastery gained 5,100. I have no idea what that means. But we'll figure it out now, probably. So, we got this whole menu. We can't disable this, okay? This costs 500. Oh, okay. The things don't cost very much at all. 
Characters now have an additional starting combat oriented perk unique to them. Seems pretty good. I can't. Oh, we can click on. They're like so dark. I don't know. I guess you can see them better than I can. Um. So like, let's start with what the best ones here are. The vault allows you to spend star points to add additional fixed rewards to the next combat, which duplicate units of specif specific rarities to help fill gaps in any units you aren't finding through rolls. That seems really good, huh? Unlocks the cosmetic system. I feel like we shouldn't prioritize that. It's also very expensive. You can now unlock hats and equip those hats at will. Five hats are unlocked automatically. Unlocking new hats requires spending more mastery. Exciting stuff. Enemy armies after floor three gain an additional war banner. That seems like something I don't want to start with. Broker perk. Starting in Act 2, enemy armies gain an additional tier up. Okay, I don't really know how this whole menu works. I just know that this sounds pretty good. And this, I assume, is also good, but I don't actually know what the perks are. And this is where we're going to unlock all the characters. There's a few characters that don't appear to be here yet. Grants every enemy combatant you face a unique passive effect, which applies equally to both you and them. Oh, that's kind of fun. I actually like when games do that. Let's start with this. Oh, that's just on. Didn't really realize that's how that was going to work. Characters have an additional unique perk. Oh, okay, so I get it. Every time you unlock one of these, it also unlocks these, and you can't not unlock them. Training Yard's final room does not reward pale hearts. Wait, it didn't reward me pale hearts anyways. <laughs> So this just makes new combatants, which I would like, but it's kind of expensive. Characters provide an additional starting bundle of resources or items unique to them. That seems pretty useful. Act 1 combats yield one fewer star point rewards. That doesn't seem very good, but we have it now. I assume uh, that when we started the run, we saw like all those perks that we could pick. We could just like, if we really didn't want this downside, then we could choose not to have this upside. Um, so I really want this as well, because this would help you make your build. So, but that automatically does that. The Broker perk unlocks a new room type in future runs, side quests. But you send a specific type of tier 2 or higher unit away for bonus rewards. Interesting. You can now reroll the level up perk choices up to two times per run. What is that going to give me as a downside? You have one fewer potion slot. Golden die greatly increase the number of perk rerolls for the remainder of the run. Unlocks the ring component item, which does special stuff. Oh, wait, we unlocked this. Abandoned ship perk. Sells all your units, but grants a great deal of 
bonus star points and rerolls. Interesting. <laughs> Unlocks a new area that can appear in future runs. A new boss. Maybe we shouldn't quite unlock that yet. Goblin Merchant will now sell Void Portals. These allow you to banish all traits on a unit from appearing in your store. Increasing the odds you see other units instead. Interesting. Well, we should unlock characters, I think, maybe. We, or at least one character. So we could try a new character. Enables profession perks. Characters start with a special, unique, legendary unit. That seems pretty cool. What's it going to downside me with? Okay. Yep, that seems pretty painful. Perk Living Legend can appear in future runs. Living Legend unlock all legendary profession units. Gain 10 star points. Well, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. We can't afford any more. Oh, we could get rerolls, though. We should probably buy that. Can now reroll the items offered at the shop with gold as well. What did that do? You were potion slots. Oh, good. Okay, well. All right, well, that was a good first run. It took a while, but we were kind of explaining stuff going slowly. Hopefully in the future we could go a little bit faster. I think I'll split this one up into two, uh, just because it took so long. But anyways, I had a lot of fun with that game. Hopefully you enjoyed as well, and we'll be back with a little bit more in the future. Uh, but that's going to do for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.